Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, beyond the pandemic, there is also a typhoon right now battering Hong Kong and I'm still walking on uh, crutches after an unfortunate skateboard accident. Well, that didn't stop me from uh, coming to the office uh, where I keep a few, a few watches and uh, they happen to form a great little collection. So, you know, not much to talk about today, I wanted to share this with you, maybe inspire you to get some balance into your own collection, which is something I've tried do, doing, um, not just with these pieces, but obviously I have a, a larger collection. I probably have too many, too many watches I could cut down, but uh, in general, I try to not have twice the same uh, function, the same colors, uh, and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, in front of me, I have uh, what could be a perfect, perfect collection, with a great balance of functions, colors, um, vintages uh, even. So here you have your daily steel pieces uh, with the current version of the Rolex Explorer, the new Tudor Black Bay 58 in a blue variation, and a neo vintage piece here with the Rolex Explorer 2 Polar Dial 16570. A great watch to travel with, with all the functions you're gonna need. Speaking of travel watches, here with the uh, more dress, dressier watches. You have a Patek Philippe Calatrava, a modern classic. Uh, this is the 5134 with the uh, travel time function, which can be used, as you can see here, also as a GMT for everyday purpose. Not sure it's a great, actually, travel watch, being uh, made of uh, white gold, obviously, uh, which is going to chip away quite easily when you grab luggages or whatever. Uh, install a tray for your kids on the on the plane but nevertheless it's a beautiful watch with a sort of uh, sector dial go, going on uh, a, a shape on the dial which you you find even more discreetly here on the longer Unzerner 1815 annual calendar you can see the moon is hiding we have a new moon uh, today in, uh, in Hong Kong uh, this piece is a uh, sumptuous also in white gold uh, with an annual calendar uh, sterling silver dial with a fine coating that really shines and, uh, and pop in person. Uh, the strap looks black, but actually it's uh, it's a very dark blue, so marries well with uh, any any suit you're gonna you're gonna wear. While the strap on the the Patek here is black, I might get a summer strap for it with a rubber uh, underlining. And then of course you need a chronograph, and here we have sort of a vintage reissue from the original. El Primero, this is the A384 Revival, also on a black leather. I have the uh, bracelet on order. Uh, it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take quite a few weeks, even months to, to get it apparently. Not sure why it's so slow, but, uh, but anyway, it's gonna come and making this piece a bit more versatile, uh, especially here in Hong Kong where it's uh, very humid and, uh, and rainy. So very cool piece with a beautiful uh, Dome sapphire crystal giving those interesting vintage style reflections you would have with the old plastic crystals. Beautiful brushing. It doesn't pay in comparison to the much more expensive uh, pieces here. Although this is certainly not uh, a cheap watch. Great functions here. You have loom, you have date. Uh, these move movements don't have uh, hacking seconds, so you have to be a bit handy uh, with, with the crown and, um, and whatnot where when you set it. Uh, same thing with the, the Patek, there's no hacking, but it's a manual wind, so as soon as you wind it, it starts. So very easy to uh, coordinate, actually, uh, with uh, running seconds on your reference time. I love the uh, long annual calendar because it's very practical with the side pusher here to readjust the whole calendar. If you've let it run uh, out of power, it has three-day power reserve, also manual wind. I really like uh, winding this watch. It's uh, very pleasant. This one has a very short uh, power, but 40 45 hours um very quick to to wind this one takes more time but yeah uh, last few three days it's a real pleasure to to wind uh, the the chronometer, the chronometer here you know high beat chronograph uh, sorry chronograph uh, high beat uh, very nice pushers to to use uh, great case back as well all three have beautiful uh, case backs uh, displays so yeah, let me know what you think about the, this collection. I like the, how the colors marry uh, the, the blue, you know, and a dash of, uh, of red. 
uh, on two of the watches. It's quite interesting how how it works to, together. A bit of a tuxedo dial here uh, with, with those um, sub registers and uh, and uh, the running, running track uh, around the dial. Uh, different flavors. It's still very uh, you know nothing very flashy. I'm not into very uh, flashy Gaudi type of uh, watches. Although I like some funky they just uh, but I think this collection has something very appeasing when you look at it uh, because you have the shapes mar marry well slightly different shape here tonneau shape uh, case here slightly smaller very uh, voluptuous case on the Calatrava in person it's a uh, it's a very lovely piece to, uh, to 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 behold while here you have the more obviously Germanic sensibilities on the uh, on the case so very different uh, subtleties uh, that you know the casual observer might not uh, notice uh, at, at first and uh, and here yeah you have your your field watch you have your diver and you have your your travel watch uh, although it's really made for spelunking uh, anyway all these are really lovely pieces and uh, yeah, that's why uh, I'm enjoying my day today. Let me know what you're up to, guys. All right, hope you've enjoyed this. Bye bye.